I uh, sit uh, at a cricket field. It's a uh, for soccer and uh, disc, free disc. What is it called? And they do bicycle here in this area. And then um, we have got them. Um, we have got summer days. And we have hot weather that we didn't had the whole summer. So, but uh, as it is uh, fall, autumn, uh, is it um, uh, so? As soon as the sun is on its way to go down, it's be cold. Uh, but it's enough for daytime to have like summer weather. So I have been out as much as I could and not uh, be in my home and um, uh, I have been to as it it's the summer is over the, it's about the doctor appointments for me so today I was to I go early in the morning and it was beautiful to drive the my uh, scooter in the morning when it was like summer and it felt uh, like summer and uh, I was to the eye doctor and um, it um, it doesn't turn out as I thought it should be but uh, okay I am I can't predict what will happen. So uh, today I was to the doctor and then I say to the nurse that I had got um, sepsis, poison in the blood of the uh, of the last uh, surgery I did on, on my eye. Ice, it was too ice, and um, and he they he the doctor go angry at me. He's Muslim, and uh, I think uh, when he go angry at me because I got sepsis after the surgery, and he say that. Uh, uh, next time you will say that I, I was on my way to kill you. And it was like he was telling what was in, inside him. Next time you, you say that I will kill you. And then I was thinking he maybe was saying that in that way they are going to kill my eyes and uh, make me go blind and um, I remember still remember what what the Muslim man say in the family I was staying in that uh, it was in the time when the terrorist attack was 2001 uh, 9-11 2001, and he said, next, next time it will, will be in a big place. It's uh, like a, a public place, like Disneyland. He said that it should be a terror attack. And then he said, <clears throat> it should be in the water supply. And that uh, had been been uh, here in Sweden have it been that it have been poison in the water supply that we have for this part of my city and uh, but it seems like uh, it's harder to do that and then um, and then he said in the medical medical 
field. It will be terror attack, he said. And uh, that's also something that going on here in Sweden. It's uh, maybe 75% 75 of, of the doctors is Muslims. Uh, and they treat because uh, if you are not Muslim, then you are enemies. So that uh, is not not so far away to think about that when he go angry because I say I I got sepsis of of the loss of surgery and uh, because I uh, I go with the ambulance next day I was very sick in in the night and then. I have to go with ambulance to a hospital and stay in the hospital for three days and then go home with the medicine. And um, uh, so I think it was a, a good uh, way to see it uh, like that. And they say today that they wanted to do uh, more laser surgery in my eyes and uh, he say I, I was only 80 percent okay in my eyes and um, i said to him the, the reason why i come here to in the first place to you was that my doctor the doctor I have for all illness. He um, he say that he, he should look for what's going on with my brain. What caused me not could walk so so good, and um, and he he say it's the first to look at is the eyes. He say. He's, uh, he's Swedish, he is a Jewish uh, doctor, so I'm not an enemy to him. So he, uh, mean my, my um, area for hospital for pancreas, they d don't want me to be there. They don't understand what's going on, and those are Muslims that is in in um, about my pancreas, and they say to my my Jewish doctor that uh, he should first test my blood sugar to see uh, if I eat different and. Um, and then uh, test the blood, the blood uh, every three times a day. And I did that, and it was still high. Uh, and uh, I, and when I come back from the eye surgery, and uh, not uh, eye surgery, the eye doctor, he got angry and he look in my eyes and say. It was 8% gone or something like that, he said. But he needed to do more loss. And I think they f he failed to damage my eyes. Uh, because I have protection from heaven. And so I drive home very slowly because I had this to open up the eyes so the doctor could look into my eyes. So it was a little misty on my eyes. It was like clouds. It was almost I couldn't see for a little while. But I drive very, very slowly and careful back home.
And when I come home, there was a letter in my mailbox. And uh, it was from a doctor, a Jewish doctor. And he said that he had taken contact with these pancreas doctors and asked them what more he should do to uh, find out to, how to help me to be more careful with my pancreas and because uh, I did what I should do and I, I take very much insulin every day in the same time about before I go to bed. I take 80 uh, grade uh, eights, 80 insulin. Uh, drops or what to say um, every time uh, and I say I refuse to take more insulin it's it's the whole injection 80 and I need to uh, take more for again in the injection but I refuse to do it it's enough and um, so uh, the doctor he he see that it's not about what I eat that cause my diabetes and uh, the pancreas is bad so he wrote me that he should take contact with those area that doesn't want to help me. I have not uh, wanted to help me for many years now. Um, and what I have, uh, before that I was into um, a surgery uh, department in the hospital, but, um, and I did, um, uh, like a uh, scan my body uh, like x-ray my body and it doesn't uh, the pancreas uh, is not going uh, more bad because I I know uh, I know to be careful with the pancreas I don't drink any alcoholic for example and I don't eat so much fat and I don't eat much sugar and um, it's not that I uh, total have stopped eating sugar and fat but not uh, extremely uh, or not e even normal uh, lower than normal and still have so bad but it's the pancreas that uh, have done that by time. And I know uh, uh, one of the reason why I'm sick is because I have inflammation in the whole body. But here in Sweden, they are very careful with antibiotics. So I don't get it. I, I, I should need to have antibiotics for a long time. I try. Uh, to get it the last time I was sick. So I was had antibiotic for one month, but I think it was not the right antibiotics I got. Uh, but my, uh, my leg have going better since after the antibiotics. And now uh, when fall is and autumn is, I'm going to I eat uh, much better. I have taken much, I take much to, I take much uh, for to build up my system in immunity.
system. And it's boys that play soccer, they find a bottle, a full bottle that they open and, and drink, and that's not good. It can be poison that is in, in that uh, container. Um, so they disturb me a little now. Uh, I have not uh, met uh, this uh, cricket player for a long time now. Uh, I'm waiting every day for him. But uh, I know that time will uh, slip away for us to meet because um, uh, it's fall, it starts to be cold outside soon. And then uh, at least I can't sit out, be outside for a long time when it's cold outside. I, uh, I found out when I, I did the uh, sauna, it was before pandemic was pandemic was uh, I, I did the sauna and I was like before I the most hot sauna you can have and I sit highest up in the sauna and suddenly I could, I felt uh, like I wanted to faint and I walk I was thinking I, I walked out from the sauna and uh, I couldn't hardly uh, go out from the sauna. So I knew it was, I was in dangerous. So I never do that again. And now I, I can recognize that in the summer that I can't sit in the sun for a long time. So, and uh, I can't be out in the winter in the cold. I must have like a normal temperature to be out in. So the time is slipping away for us to meet. And uh, we are not, not coming so far yet in our connection. So I have a letter with me to give him uh, to, uh, my address and telephone number and even my name. I, have not, I think I have not s say my name. And I don't know because when he come up to me the first time and started to talk, I, I go away with myself and was in the spirit. So I don't, it's uh, when you, a follower of me, when you, you know that when I'm talking to the spirits, they, uh, they take away myself. So I can hardly remember anything what they have telling me. And sometimes when I know it has been something very interesting, or, or I don't know the title of the episode, I need to go back and listen to myself, to what's going on with in the episode, because I don't know I'm away myself with myself, and that was it when he come up to me. I don't remember much of what we were talking about, and um, when I lay hand on him. I go, go away, really go away, and I wake up and say to him, because I, I hold his arm, and I knew it had taken a long time. And I have to tell him that I need to hold his arm until the energy that gave him healing what's going away, so that I remember, I say. But then I don't remember so much more.
and uh, it's um, it's a protection many times that I go into the spirit, like uh, when I fall out from from the bus, and I remember seeing myself flying in the air out in the street. I saw it. I was on the side of my body and saw my body flying down to the street. And then I remember I look up and lay under a car. And then next time I I wake up and I was sitting in water. I was sitting up in the water and had much pain and much people was looking at me. But there, between there, I, I don't remember anything. And I be taken in the spirit. And uh, it's many, many, many times I have taken, been taken in the spirit. So I don't know what's have going on. And that's with the same with this man. I don't know what I have told him and what he had told me because I was in in the spirit as soon as he come up to me in the hill. But I see I, it was not the hill. It was, uh, was what my brain saw it like. I was up on a hill, but it's really flat where I sit. Now when I see it, when he's not here, uh, then I can be myself and I see it's flat. But when he come up to me, and that is, I think, symbolic, that he come up to me and uh, I, I did a healing on him. And he fall really in love in, with me, but it seems like he fall in, had fall in love with me before he come up to me, and uh, that is one thing I maybe should ask him: what did happen inside him? Maybe he heard some talking to him in the spirit to walk up to work up. I was not on hill, but walked to me and talked to me. Because it, he was talking to me very strange. What I remember from the beginning, like he have already made a decision to be together with me. And next time I'm, I met him, he was playing and I'd be shocked or my reaction in my in my heart, in my body. I couldn't be be there because uh, it was a match. Uh, it was a um, competition between two teams. And he was looking at me. He stopped. He should t pick up uh, the ball. And suddenly he stopped and looked at me. Instead to pick up the ball and throw it in, into the field. He was looking at me for some seconds. And I was thinking, I can't destroy you. Uh, the, the score for the team. When he be like paralyzed because I am there. So I left and have this big, big, big love inside my body. But I should have now when I see how long time it takes for me to meet him again, I should have wait for him in that, that day when he uh, took the ball. And, and they should have play, uh, ended the the playing and, and he should have come to me and talked to me. I should have done that. But I don't want to be like like before to run after a man. God uh, told me that uh, 
I don't know if it's God that tell me, maybe someone in the spirit was telling me that my man should come to me. And he did. But I don't know how much he will come to me in that way. I don't know. Maybe was it when he come to me that first day that was what he should have done. And then I could go after him like I did before, but I wanted to do it different, differently this time. And I, I, I don't know yet because the winter is not here yet. And I will see if, if it will be the right way to do it as I did or it was my biggest mistake ever that I walk away but I was shocked in my body of so much love that he showing me when he look at me the eyes was full of love so I didn't I was confused what I should do, so I left. And now it's time for me to to say thank you for listening. And uh, I was thinking I should take take uh, take my surf plate to record record when they are playing cricket for you to hear that is true that um, it's for real and not uh, something I imagine, some fantasy. That is like a fantasy when it's about the spirit thing. For people that don't understand the spirit, they don't, don't understand nothing. So they think it's a fantasy, something I make up in that way. It's you that follow me that know the, the spirit thing. It's true and not a fantasy, something you imagine or, or uh, uh, built up, like put up. And, so that's you that follow me. So I thank you for listening and, and I hope uh, next time i recording that he is with me and talk to you also. I will, I, I'm going to, as soon as I can, make him also speak so you understand you that Adapt that he is for real. So thank you and God bless you.